Hey guys, Hulls here from Hulls Fitness. Just getting in at quarter to seven on a Monday morning to get chest done. Haven't done a video for a little while. Uh, just sitting in the car because it's freezing outside and the heat has just decided to work. Oh, it's cold all the way here and then it decides to kick in as it does. Uh, yeah, haven't done a video for a little while. Just been trying to get things all organized. Um, currently 13 weeks out again from comp and we're going to go to state this time. Probably won't be doing as many updates, but uh, we'll be doing somewhat of a blog on the way there. Currently weighing in around 76.5, so I've put on about four kilos of good water and glycogen weight. Feels good to be having some food again, but being that I'm 13 weeks out, I will start to deplete um, probably coming up in the next couple of next few weeks. However, I was about this weight six weeks out from comp last time, so it feels good to actually be um, ahead of the game this time and I won't have to do as intense cardio I would imagine still being coached from, uh, by Frank and we'll see what he says about that and I'll follow his regime but anyway guys going to get in do a chest on a Monday morning international chest day and uh, yeah we'll leave you to it see what we got and I'll see you after bye Hey guys, here we are. As I mentioned, this is one of my first videos that I've done in a little while. And uh, that's due to just getting stuff together, getting my website together, just trying to figure out a few things, where to go after my comp. Um, but yeah, let's get into it anyway. So here we're doing the incline bench on the Smith machine. The uh, regular bar bench was taken. So we did 8 to 10 reps there for 4 sets. And then we go into an incline dumbbell press for 8 to 10 reps at 4 sets. And I was actually speaking to a friend of mine and I might actually do a video on terminology that we use in, in, in the gym, I guess. Because uh, she got a little confused on sets and reps and you know what indicates what and what is what. So, I mean, that's all... All relevant people, so those who are starting out might not know what reps are and what sets are, um, and that's fine. So I might actually do a video on gym and working out and fitness terminology. All right, so then we go into a seated machine press for 10 to 12 sets for, sorry, 10 to 12 reps. See, there you go, even I don't get it right. 10 to 12 reps for five sets. So obviously you can see it's a reasonably higher volume in regards to my sets. But this is actually Siobhan's workout that we're doing here. And Siobhan doesn't rest all that much. She'll get about 30 to 45 seconds and she's back into her next set. Uh, me, I like to take about a minute's rest, uh, anywhere from a minute to 90 seconds. Just because I lift reasonably heavy on most of my uh, lifting days. But hey, pound for pound, Siobhan lifts just as heavy as I do. And, you know, I'll give her credit where credit's due. All right, so we've just gone from a machine, seated machine press into the seated machine fly press. And just by switching up my grips there, I've gone from overhanded to palms facing, so creating a fly motion. So I do 10 to 12 reps here, and I do this for five sets also. This is, a re as I said, it's a reasonably high set day, and I think we'd knock out about 24 sets for, the, for our chest day. Um, for your bigger muscle groups, I would suggest doing anywhere from 18 and up, um, probably no more than 30 sets. I mean, it all depends on your own individuality, I guess, but yeah, this is a high, high set day, so I did about 24 sets here, and we finished off exhausting the chest muscles with a flat dumbbell press at 15 to 20 reps for five sets. Um, I actually went on to do chest fly cables and I think that was it and I also did my calves and abs but guys I'm going to try and get videos out more consistently and just let us know what you like and uh, yeah thanks again guys and we'll see you later